The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown is a best-selling thriller that combines elements of mystery, conspiracy, and historical fiction. First published in 2003, the novel has captivated millions of readers with its intriguing blend of real historical events and speculative fiction. The story follows Harvard symbologist Robert Langdon and French cryptologist Sophie Neveu as they unravel a complex web of secrets that could shake the foundations of Christianity. The novel is known for its fast-paced narrative, rich historical references, and controversial themes that challenge traditional religious beliefs. The Da Vinci Code begins with a murder in the Louvre Museum in Paris. The victim, Jacques Saunier, is the curator of the museum and a key figure in a secret society known as the Priory of Sion. His death sets off a chain of events that thrusts Robert Langdon and Sophie Neveu into a dangerous quest to uncover a hidden truth that has been guarded for centuries. The novel explores themes of religion, art, history, and the conflict between faith and reason. Brown weaves a narrative that blurs the line between fact and fiction, drawing on real historical figures like Leonardo da Vinci and Sir Isaac Newton, as well as well-known works of art like The Last Supper and Mona Lisa. The story raises provocative questions about the origins of Christianity, the role of women in religious history, and the nature of truth itself. The Murder at the Louvre The story begins with the brutal murder of Jacques Saunier in the Louvre. Before he dies, Saunier leaves behind a series of cryptic clues written in his own blood leading the police to suspect that his death is more than a simple homicide. The French police, led by Captain Bizou Fache, summon Robert Langdon, who is in Paris to give a lecture, to help solve the mystery. Langdon soon discovers that Saunier's death is linked to a much larger conspiracy. Saunier was the Grand Master of the Priory of Sion, a secret society dedicated to protecting the Holy Grail and the true history of Christianity. The Priory of Sion has been the guardian of a secret that, if revealed, could challenge the very foundations of the Christian Church. The search for the Holy Grail Langdon teams up with Sophie Neveu, a cryptologist, and the estranged granddaughter of Saunier. Together, they follow the clues left by Saunier, which lead them on a frantic chase across Paris, London, and beyond. The clues are hidden in famous works of art, including Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper, and in ancient symbols and codes that require their combined expertise to decipher. As they unravel the mystery, Langdon and Sophie discover that the Holy Grail is not what it is traditionally believed to be, a chalice used by Jesus Christ at the Last Supper, but rather something much more profound. According to the novel, the Holy Grail is actually a metaphor for the bloodline of Jesus Christ, which has been preserved through the ages by the descendants of Mary Magdalene. The role of Mary Magdalene, one of the most controversial aspects of The Da Vinci Code, is its portrayal of Mary Magdalene. In the novel, Brown suggests that Mary Magdalene was not only a close follower of Jesus, but also his wife and the mother of his child. The Priory of Sion, along with other secret societies, has been dedicated to preserving the knowledge of this sacred bloodline which has been hidden by the church for centuries. The novel proposes that the church, in an effort to consolidate its power, suppressed the true story of Mary Magdalene and her role in the early Christian movement. The church rebranded her as a prostitute, a label that has persisted for centuries, in order to undermine her significance and erase her from history. The Code of Da Vinci Leonardo da Vinci plays a central role in the novel, not only as a historical figure, but also as a key to unlocking the mystery of the Holy Grail. Brown portrays da Vinci as a member of the Priory of Sion, who encoded secrets about the Holy Grail in his art. The Last Supper is one of the primary pieces of evidence in the novel, where Brown suggests that the figure to the right of Jesus is not the Apostle John, as traditionally believed, but Mary Magdalene, the novel also delves into the concept of sacred geometry and the symbolism embedded in da Vinci's works. The Vitruvian Man, for instance, is discussed in the context of the divine proportion, a mathematical concept that ties into the novel's themes of balance, harmony, and the intersection of science and really.
The Power of Symbols One of the central themes of The Da Vinci Code is the power of symbols and their ability to convey hidden meanings. Throughout the novel, symbols play a crucial role in uncovering the truth, from the pentagram to the Fibonacci sequence to the hidden messages in Da Vinci's art. Brown suggests that symbols have the power to shape history and influence belief systems, often in ways that are not immediately apparent. The novel also explores the idea that symbols can be manipulated to serve different purposes. The church, for example, is portrayed as having reinterpreted ancient symbols to fit its own narrative, while the Priory of Sion uses symbols to preserve the truth. This theme is closely tied to the novel's exploration of the tension between faith and reason, as symbols can both illuminate and obscure the truth. The Intersection of Science and Religion Another significant theme in The Da Vinci Code is the relationship between science and religion. The novel explores how these two fields have often been seen as opposing forces, yet also suggests that they are interconnected in profound ways. Through characters like Robert Langdon, who uses both scholarly analysis and intuition to solve the mystery, Brown highlights the importance of balancing reason with faith. The novel also delves into the idea that religious texts and doctrines may contain hidden scientific knowledge encoded in symbols and metaphors. This concept is exemplified in the discussion of sacred geometry, which bridges the gap between art, mathematics, and spirituality. Criticism and Controversy Since its publication, The Da Vinci Code has been the subject of much controversy, particularly within religious communities. The novel's portrayal of the Catholic Church, its reinterpretation of Christian history, and its suggestion that Jesus was married to Mary Magdalene have sparked widespread debate. Critics have accused Brown of promoting a misleading and sensationalized version of history while others have praised the novel for encouraging readers to think critically about religion and history. Despite the controversy, The Da Vinci Code has been credited with popularizing interest in topics such as Gnosticism, the Holy Grail, and the role of women in early Christianity. The novel. The book was adapted into a successful film in 2006, directed by Ron Howard and starring Tom Hanks as Robert Langdon. The film further cemented the novel's place in popular culture, though it also faced criticism for its portrayal of religious themes. Beyond its commercial success, The Da Vinci Code has had a lasting influence on public discourse about religion, history, and the nature of truth. While many of its claims have been debunked or criticized, the novel remains a powerful example of the ways in which fiction can challenge established beliefs and provoke thought. Conclusion The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown is more than just a thriller. It is a novel that delves into deep and often controversial themes related to religion, history, and the search for truth. Through its fast-paced plot, complex characters, and rich historical references, the book invites readers to question what they know and consider the possibility that there is more to the story than meets the eye. Whether one views it as a work of speculative fiction, a critique of religious institutions, or simply an entertaining mystery, The Da Vinci Code has undeniably left a mark on contemporary literature and culture. Its legacy continues to spark discussion and debate, making it a book that resonates with readers long after they have turned the final page.